question, the member from Perry Sound, Muskoka. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I have a question to the Premier. Premier, constituents from Perry Sound, Muskoka, boarded a bus to Queen's Park this morning to send you a message. Your government needs to get hydro rates under control. It's reached the point that people are afraid to open their hydro bill each month. Among the hundreds of hydro complaints I've received, Dana from Trout Creek wrote me, quote, huge bills from Hydro One are going to cause us to go bankrupt, close quote, adding that her family's income is only slightly higher than what qualifies for any form of government assistance. Instead of providing assurance in hydro rates for Ontario families this month, you raised the on-peak hydro rates 15 per cent to 16.1 no. cents per kilowatt yeah. hour. Premier, why is your government turning a deaf ear to people like Dana Question. and making no attempt to keep hydro rates from climbing even higher? Well, Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Energy has, uh, has said repeatedly this morning in response to uh, uh, questions on, on this issue that we're very acutely aware of the situation where people are uh, struggling, where they, where they need support. Mr. Speaker. That's why the programs that we have put in place are, are targeted at those people. Mr. Speaker. The fact is that we inherited ener an energy system that was degraded Mr. Speaker, that needed to be built up. We've done that. That, Mr. Speaker, and there is a cost associated with that. We acknowledge that. But, Mr. Speaker, I hope that the member opposite, in his office, when people come in to talk to him about their energy oh rates, God. I hope he points them off. to the programs that they might qualify for, Mr. Speaker, because he knows full well that there are programs that are targeted specifically at people who are, uh, are struggling with their energy bills, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. The member from Stormont, Dundas, and South Glengarry. Thank you, Speaker. To the Premier. Premier, in Stormont, Dundas, and South Glengarry, Hydro's mismanagement of its billing practices, as well as your unaffordable green energy charges, are a source of pain and financial ruin. The local conservation authority received an unjustifiable $50,000 bill after it had already been removed from its bank account wow. and has been fighting Hydro with no avail. The Maple Ridge Centre is advised that an old meter had been disconnected, when in reality it hadn't, and after two years of paying $12,000 a year, received an additional $25,000 bill. The hydro is refusing to drop. Across Ontario, individuals, businesses, agencies and charities are having to shoulder the economic costs of your mismanagement on your energy file. How do you justify bringing electricity poverty to the province, Question. which should be instead be the economic engine of Canada? Let me just uh, again. There have been uh, many questions on, along this uh, line asked this morning. The Minister of Energy has been very clear about the fact that we had to make investments. There was a degraded energy system. There's a cost associated with those, Mr. Speaker, and that we have worked very hard to put programs in place and, Mr. Speaker, to make decisions that actually would take costs out of the system, renegotiating contracts and putting downward pressure on rates. But, Mr. Speaker, underlying this question is a question about the nature of Hydro One and whether that is a, a company that could be run better, Mr. Speaker. So I expect that the member opposite agrees with us that it is a company that could be run better, Mr. Speaker, that we should do everything in our power to make sure it is run well, Mr. Speaker, and that is exactly part of the, uh, the initiative that yes, we are undertaking as a result of the uh, recommendations from Ed Clark and his panel. It needs to be a better run company, Mr. Speaker, for the people of this yeah. province. Yeah.